This is one of a series of presentations about the areas of search that are being put forward in the Welsh Marine Protected Areas Network Completion Project. This project is being run by Welsh Government with technical support from Natural Resources Wales and the Joint Nature Conservation Committee. Areas of search are not marine conservation zone site proposals, but represent a step in the process towards designating marine conservation zones in Welsh waters. Here is an illustration of the phased process moving towards selecting possible MCZs for consultation. We are currently between step two and three in a period of wider engagement on the areas of search to gather additional information on activities and interests. We are discussing the areas of search with interested sectors, stakeholders and communities and will use this information to help with determining suitable areas. Once possible MCZs have been identified within the with the task and finish group, JNCC and NRW will provide pre-consultation advice ahead of Welsh Government's 12-week public consultation. More information can be found on the project website. The shortfall features in Area of Search A are Ross Worm Reef, where the worms cement grains of sand together to make a tube. When there are enough tubes, they can form reefs that provide habitats for other animals to live in. Fragile sponge and anthozoan communities, is a community of sponges that grow proud of the seabed and anthozoans such as sea anemones, soft corals and colonial anemones. Some of these sponges are slow growing and can live for decades. The broad scale habitats subtidal coarse sediment, which is coarse sand, gravel, pebbles and cobbles, and is generally thought to be a fairly mobile environment, and subtidal mixed sediment, which is a mixture of sediment types, but always with muds present and generally less mobile. The area of search is predominantly inshore and located to the north and west of Anglesey. It is approximately 1,290 kilometres squared. The area is largely dominated by subtidal coarse sediment in the southwest and northeast corners, with patches of subtidal mixed sediments dotted around. The records of fragile sponge and anthozoans and Ross Worm Reef are located in the western half of the area. The area of search is the only option to address the shortfall for Ross Worm Reef in the Irish Sea and is one of the two areas that are both required to address the shortfall for fragile sponge and anthozoan communities. There are opportunities to fully address the shortfall for subtidal coarse sediments and partially address the shortfall for subtidal mixed sediments, but because it is inshore it doesn't provide representation and improved connectivity for broad scale habitats within deeper waters. At the broad area of search stage, shortfall features are overlapped with currently licensed activities and existing infrastructure were removed as they are incompatible with an MCZ designation. The area of search overview document shows these activities in more detail and can be found on the project webpage. The map on the left shows the currently licensed activities and existing infrastructure for area search A, which include marine licensing applications, oil pipelines, Port of Holyhead and Anchorage area, Offshore wind installation in the east, two areas of consented offshore tidal stream and another at pre-planning application stage. There are also a number of licensed dredge disposal sites. For each area of search, data was collated on activities that cause pressure which the shortfall features are sensitive to. However, we do not have comprehensive up-to-date data on all activities to include at this point. We recognise that further discussions are needed to establish key areas for other activities. One data set that we do have is the fishing activity interpreted from the vessel monitoring system data summed here from 2016 to 2018, shown on the right. VMS data is only collected on vessels over 12 metres and on some smaller scallop fishing boats. We are aware of other fishing activity of under 12, e.g. potting, boat, boat charter angling and recreational activities that occur within the area of search. Again, this will be part of the wider engagement getting information to feed into the process. For more information about the process, this area of search and the other areas that are being put forward and how you can have your say, please visit the project's webpage noted on the screen here. Thank you.